All right, everyone. You guys ready for the debrief? Oh, yeah. you betcha. Oh, you bet there is <laughs> So it was a good competition in general by everyone. I think the largest thing to note is uh, that you guys did a good job, uh, job of keeping patching levels up on the systems. So we didn't use a lot of uh, you know direct stack overflow exploits or, or service level exploits. Uh, there were a few instances where we did that, so I think the only thing to take away for future competitions at this level is if you're reimaging a machine, uh, make sure that you also up its patch levels to where it was before, because uh, when we did get uh, the standard kind of stack-based overflow exploits, it, was, it seemed like after someone reimaged the machine from some previous activity. Uh, we were a lot quieter in this competition than we've been at the state levels, so we didn't do any kind of full-out scanning of the systems uh, beyond your know, initial port scan. It was more uh, getting in and poking around and seeing exactly what was on there and then uh, targeting, targeting some specific exploits for there. Uh, one thing that was particularly successful that allowed us to gain a foothold uh, into a lot of the teams was uh, after doing some DNS cache poisoning, we were able to get uh, the Anytime you open a browser on a team system, it would launch the uh, unpatched uh, IE pointer dereferencing vulnerability that was released recently. Uh, so the way to defend against that is just don't browse or don't even launch a browser from a system uh, that's in the competition. So uh, in real uh, life, it's best practices not to browse the internet or even bring up a browser on a critical system. So just don't open Internet Explorer and you won't get us a foothold in the system. Uh, once we were inside, we did a lot of uh, man-in-the-middle kind of attacks to kind of watch passwords, uh, grab credentials off the system, which gained us a further foothold, which allowed us to uh, you know, redeploy some of the bots that were on the system uh, at the beginning of the competition. And for the most part, um, most of the software that we installed was persistent throughout. So once a lot of people did not, I don't think any team, no team found and moved the uh, binary permanently. Right. Uh, two teams. Two yeah. teams. Okay. Two All right. So two teams did. So good job for those two teams that did. What? Uh, what? What was that? What was that? We'll, we'll go into it. Yeah. <laughs> Questions already. <laughs> so, okay. It was there. Yep. Um, all in all, just a good job. But I mean, just just patching the systems isn't enough. Uh, is pretty much what we want to illustrate. So there's there's always some kind of threat, either internal or external. Uh, at, at some point, you know, we weren't seeing a lot of incidents rolling in for what we were doing, so we started doing defacements and you know, placing the images of our little mascot there on the desktop. <laughs> so, uh, in case you guys are wondering, that's the uh, Chinese symbol for hacker. We Chinese uh, backwards, inside out, and upside down. So uh, <laughs> so on the right, we start reading it like a little samurai warrior guy, and the next image is uh, like a computer. So that's that's how they translate hacker out there. That's our little mascot. Popped up on uh, some of your guys' screens and websites from time to time, so you'll know if you saw them. I'm going to let the guys just jump in and talk about the different uh, exploits and techniques that they used. So, uh, this is, I don't know how well you can see it or not, but this is an SQL injection into the page. Uh, do I, what did you do? You were trying to change something and the page crashed, yeah. right? So, you can kind of see. Hold on, see so by myself. <laughs> 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 